Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, <clears throat> I just got an idea. Some of you women and some of you men have been abused by your mate for so long you almost think it's normal. You almost believe it's your fault. But let me tell you this. I believe this is what you should do. This is not about love covering a multitude of sin. This is about being smart for your own survival's sake. Because God cares more about you and your safety than he does about that, that marriage certificate. Listen to this. Stand up, especially if you're involved in a group or a church. Stand up in the middle of the church and yell it out. I've been abused by my spouse for X amount of years. I'm tired of it and I need out. And I'm not going home today. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm not going home. I'm not going to take it anymore. Put it out there. Put it out there. If you die today or tomorrow, they'll find another victim. And most people, a lot of people, I won't say most, a lot of people end up dying at the hands of their abuser. And if you want to stop this thing dead in its tracks, take the darkness and expose it to the light. Quit hiding. You're not doing them any favors and you're sure not doing yourself any. Now, I don't know how many ways you need to be told that you don't have to take it. You know, the Bible has a verse that says that, that, that you know, there are some that treat you in such a way they, they, they act like you're supposed to lay down like a doormat while they walk over you. That's not from God. God didn't call you to be anybody's doormat. God didn't call you to be anybody's whipping board. So you have to take your freedom. The Bible says the, vi the violent take it by force. Well, you have to have a violent attitude and say no more. Okay. I don't have to talk you into it if you're going to keep getting it and keep taking it because you think you need all that stuff they supply for you and you think that all their threats are valid. Guess what? I'd rather die free than live like that. But okay, it's your life. But if you want it to stop, put it out there. Make a public announcement for everybody to hear and let it be in a public setting with people who love you that will protect you. Hmm. Think about that. God bless you as you pursue your freedom. Finally.